the Stonewall Columbus LGBT Fest at the 61st Annual Columbus International Film and Video Festival is coming up November 10th through 17th. We will be presenting the latest independent LGBT films from some of the world's best filmmakers. Your mom totally knows. Why don't you just tell her? <gasps> FYI, I like guys. She's so smug. <laughs> Dropping her little hints. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. Hey, you boys have any poppers? Popper would really hit the spot right about now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Explain this to me again. How will being the first out kid in school make you instantly popular? It's simple. The hottest new trend sweeping schools worldwide is the GBF. It stands for... I know what it stands for. Gay best friend. My future GBF is just waiting to come out of the closet and tell me how fierce I am. And pretty soon, all three prom queen frontrunners will be battling it out for my attention. Boom! I just want... Are my arms looking Michelle Obama toned or Madonna scary? Actually, he's Mormon. They smile to your face and probably eat you in the back. My... Well, I can't help it that the school has devoided the gay. I mean, if there were some, they worship me. Why not send out a mass text and be done with it? Tanner, you cannot come out via text. All I wanna get is... I guess I am gay. I'm gay, I guess. <gasps> Our very own homosexual! <laughs> you don't even sound like the ones on Bravo. We can totally gay you over. Seems that many of you girls are treating Tam as more of a prize to be won than an actual person. Maybe everyone secretly wants a GBS. Come on, you call this an ensemble? Get it together, girl. Do not call me that. I meant like girl with a U. Girl. Explain to us uh, what a New York bathhouse is or was. I think for the overwhelming majority of, of gay men, their first contact with, with the community at all would have been, depending on where they were, either, either a bathhouse uh, or a bar. If someone could open a business like this and treat customers like customers, like people, and have it clean and keep it, how can you miss? Hello, <laughs> I'm Steve Ostro, the infamous proprietor, owner, founder, creator of the Continental Baths, New York City, 1968 to 1974. The Continental Baths it was a place where people could unite in a kind of safish way, knowing that you could have hot sex and anonymous sex and lots of sex. But before we opened, we got a call from, we don't know who, saying that before you open, the day you open, you're going to be raided by the police. You just don't open a bathhouse in this city without consulting with the police and the mafia. There's something about New York that grants you an anonymity. Nobody was going to see me going into a bathhouse. And there's an entertainer, so that gave me an excuse the place to be on a Saturday night when they had entertainment. LaBelle, Bette Midler, Barry Manilow, I mean, so many different people. Me. <laughs> the excitement was explosive. When I first got there, I didn't leave until two weeks later. The bath was definitely seminal because it made people feel comfortable with themselves, with society at large. It started, it was the beginning of a sexual revolution. How many times do you think you went? I probably ten. Maybe more. I tend to underestimate how many times I went to places like that. Well and and what? Hey city boy.
brings you to Brighton. I heard it was uh, friendly here. אני מטומטם. אני לא התכוונתי. אני עוזב אותך. Aids Premium. Não mogi alvo. Checai. Yang, this thing. 